Welcome to IG. I'm Hebe, market analyst for IG. Today we are diving into the economy calendar for the final week of March, starting from Monday, 25th of March. Kicking off the week is the Bank of Japan's meeting minutes from its latest monetary policy meeting. This will offer valuable insights into the discussions behind Japanese central bank's historical move in the previous week. Meanwhile, in the United States, all eyes will be on the new home sales report. Moving on to Tuesday, Australia's Westpac Consumer Confidence Index will take the spotlight. Wednesday brings us another important release from Australia, its monthly inflation data. On Thursday, Japan will publish its summary of opinions from the Bank of Japan again, and Australia will also publish its retail sales report. Meanwhile, in the United Kingdom, the GDP growth rate for the fourth quarter will be finalized, and across the pond in the United States, we will also receive the final GDP growth rate for the fourth quarter as well. On Friday, Japan will publish several crucial economy indicators, including its unemployment rate, industrial production, and retail sales figures. This report offers valuable insight into Japan's labor market, industrial output, and consumer spending trends. Meanwhile, in the United States, we will have a look at the core PCE, the Personal Consumption Expenditure Index. And the U.S. personal income and spending change in the previous months. And lastly, on Sunday, we will turn our attention to China, where the national official data for the manufacturing and non-manufacturing purchasing manager index will be published. And that wraps up this week's economy release roundup. Stay tuned with IG as we will continue to explore the latest developments in the global economy. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.